Hi, and this is Jose Luis, and welcome to another hands-on exercise on this series, Introduction to Parametric Modeling. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to try to model this structure called the umbracle by Santiago Calatrava in Valencia, in Spain. It's, uh, it's like a canopy that is on top of a large promenade that is a walking path in the city of the sciences and the arts in Valencia. And uh, it looks something like this grasshopper wise. So what we have here is the canopy. And of course, we can control a lot of parameters. This is actually a fairly detailed model with, we can control a lot of parameters, such as, for example, the um, how many spans, so the, the width between the spans, how many, the height of the main arch, the width of the main arch. And then we can also control like certain other parameters such as where these arches start, where do they end, how many ribs they have, sorry, how many ribs each one of them have, um, and many, many other things that relate to the profile of the that relate to the profile of the steel, which is also variable. It's kind of cool because it starts bigger and it ends smaller here in this section. So it's going to be a fairly interesting modeling exercise. It's going to be a little longer because it has a lot of stuff going on. But I think we are at the point on this series where we know how to tackle all the problems that you're going to see here. And the good or the bad news is that this exercise is a little longer, perhaps, than many on this series. And also, I've actually already done this exercise in a different video. So if you go to this video, sorry, I forgot to mention that this image, the attribute is to Javier Yaja Tour. It's a Wikimedia image from Wikimedia, Wikimedia Commons. So I've actually done this exercise before in a series that is called Algorithmic Modeling Challenges. And uh, in this video, I explain the whole process of how to think about the problem, how to design uh, the sketches and how to tackle the problem step by step and fully implement it both in Grasshopper, which is the, what I would invite you to do right now. And if you feel more advanced or if you want to learn C Sharp, then there is a second part of this video, which is how to implement the same thing but in pure C-sharp scripting within Grasshopper. So I'm not going to record the video again, but I would like to point you to this video if you want to learn more, if you want to try this exercise right now. So there should be a description to the, uh, a link to this video in the description, or it should be popping up as a, as a card somewhere here. It's an interesting exercise. It's a little longer, but it will definitely, definitely help you polish a lot of the things that we have learned so far on this playlist. So I recommend you check it out if you have some time or if you already feel very comfortable with what we're doing, then maybe perhaps move on to the next videos in this series and start learning more stuff and more techniques. OK. All right, then um, either see you on this video or I'll see you on the next video or whatever life may find us uh, in this digital world. <laughs> Thank you very much and see you on the next video.